want to give a quick tip here for anybody who's looking at road armor from bumpers this is a 2018 ram rebel with road armor uh stealth bumper front bumper on the front uh so I, this one also has the winch mount the winch obviously isn't installed yet and it's also got the spot for the d-rings and then it has four cutouts for led lights and when you order this let me open this up here and show you you get a little pamphlet in here that tells you that you know you can fit these rigid lights in here um and if that doesn't work excuse me you can uh do these vision x uh solo lights things like that and so you look these up these lights you know are you know a couple hundred bucks um not not really necessarily the most economical and maybe that's a little bit more than you want to invest just a little bit more than you want to invest now uh, i was really just looking for the winch portion of this i really didn't care too much about the led lights so i went on ebay i'm sorry not on ebay amazon and i found a company called nylight n-i-l-i-g-h-t and they sell a pair of lights these are their four inch lights and so it's a flood spot combo so you can see kind of the the leds in there and then the strips and so i was able to put those in there and so what i did was if you actually look inside of here there's a little groove here and that's kind of where you can attach the light so what i did was i put the mounting uh bracket on here and i used the bolt and then i just used the they have like a little he allen head uh bolt as well and i used that on the back of it to get these in here and so, you know, they recess back a little bit. They don't really, they, you're like over here, you're kind of up against the front. But uh, from a, you know, and they actually work. I can probably throw some photos on here of kind of what it looked like, before, you know, before, with the, just the regular lights and then with these on. And then what I was able to do is I cut the pigtail off so the factory fog lights won't uh, fit in here. So I just took the factory wiring harness, spliced the, the connections in. And so now those are actually controlled off the fog lights. Uh, one thing to notice about that on the Ram, or at least on the Rebel, on this one is again 2018. When you put your brights on, it actually cuts the fog lights out for some reason. So just something to be aware of. And then the last thing I'll tell you about this too, I know there's some questions about fitment uh, when I was trying to get this bumper in. These tabs for the light bar had to be trimmed. So there's a little bit of metal left, but they were going to run into the actual uh, Ram in here because it kind of flares out whereas the regular ram is it's flat so i actually had to have those uh, ground down so this would actually fit on here but that was the only thing i think that really didn't you know that was uh, a challenge for, for fitment and then i still can get you know probably i measured this this is something like 22 inches from you know corner to corner or something like that so i can still put another light bar up there and wire that in as well if i wanted to but again that was it that was the trick yeah uh, you know, it looks like I measured these and they were like four by four inch holes. So if you can get anything that's kind of less than that four by four inch dimension, you're okay. And then, uh, like I said, these these fit in there pretty well. And, you know, for 40 bucks instead of, you know, hundreds of dollars, I've got uh, LED lights in there. Again, I'm not a big LED light person. Uh, you know, light bars and all that stuff. Actually, that's not true. I guess I have one on my Bronco uh, back behind me as well. But, um again i just didn't really want to spend that much money on lights that but i also didn't like the fact that it looked blank i mean kind of like here where it looks blank uh and it's like you know i bought the thing and i didn't put a winch in there so uh that'll be another project we'll probably shoot a video on that the winches are pretty simple to install there's plenty of room in here to get a winch up in there and mount it but again just really wanted to kind of talk more about the lights on this video and hopefully you guys will find that helpful I will try to as well remember not only put some before and after photos kind of like you know with the regular lights and then with the these uh, flood spot lights on but also i will try to put a link to uh these lights just to make it easier to find there's a couple other variations varying di diameters i actually have some lights that look very similar to this uh that i have on my little uh little uh, go off-road go-kart and so I don't know, they probably are all made by the same manufacturer and they all look pretty similar, but uh, these seem to work pretty well, especially it seemed like they cast more light kind of just in general. So at night, I couldn't really see a big difference driving uh, down my long driveway here, but I could see a pretty big difference when I got to kind of a canopy of trees and just how well it lit up the trees and everything around me, uh, kind of in that situation. So if you're going down a trail or something like that, it probably threw out quite a bit of light uh, versus just kind of throwing light out in general. So. 
that's it that's what i've got for you guys on on this and i'll continue like i said to show you a little bit more uh, as i keep building out this uh, ram rebel here